And 10 years ago today, the UWS football team played in what turned out to be their final football game ever. School administrators dropped the sport due to injuries and the lack of available players. 90 years of college football came to an end. Jackets lost to Augsburg on September 12, 1992 by a 31-3 score. It was the first night game in Augsburg football history. Some of the key UWS stats, Utah transfer Jason Woods with 43 passing attempts for 152 yards. And keep in mind, some of the videotape you are about to see went through a fire and might be less than perfect. <laughs> Mark Sankowitz knows all about cutting now. He's a butcher in Lakeside. As a member of the 1992 UWS football team, he saw his team get cut firsthand. It was a shock. I mean, I had no idea whatsoever. I mean, we came to the practice that day, and they said they want a meeting. And then they went into something about uh, there wasn't enough players, and they were concerned for our safety if one went down. I don't buy that necessarily as a reason. I think it came down to a money's number, which a lot of things do in college sports these days. It came down to money. It wasn't there. UWS football started back in 1897. Tinkwood says some stability along the coaching ranks could have helped the program continue even today. I was there. They went through two coaches in two years. Uh, would the Dan Lounsbury have stuck around for 15 years? I don't think so. He was a guy that was always on the move. You got a lot of famous people that came from there. I mean, look at Doug Sutherland, UWS, Mertz Mortarelli, Ole Hogsrud. Bud Grant was originally from around that area. That's an area rich in football tradition. I mean, it's steeped in football pr tradition. But somewhere along the line, that chain got broken. The Jackets' final home game ever turned out to be against Concordia of St. Paul on September 5th of that year. They won 27-22, marking the debut of new quarterback Jason Woods, a transfer from Utah. They suspended the season on September 15th, and later in October, dropped the sport altogether. I have concluded that intercollegiate football can no longer be offered at UW Superior. The head coach that year, Dan Lounsbury, continues to coach college football today. Since his UWS days, Lounsbury has been at Kentucky, TCU, and was at the University of Houston for several years. He is now the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach at the University of Tulsa. As Sankowitz looks back, the dropping of football was a blessing in disguise. I don't think about it a lot. But on the other hand, I will say that I probably think about my years at UMD and Coach Mosky every day. So again, you know, Pat Dolan, if you're out there, thank you. Because I got a chance to play for a legend who you think about every day and you respect more than anything in the world. So that was, it actually turned out to probably be the best thing that ever happened to me. And uh, for the past decade, the Jackets haven't played in the WIAC. But to this day, several of their single season and game stats still stand. The conference record books. They won six conference titles since 1913, the last coming in 1946. Augsburg, by the way, had to forfeit that win over UWS in 1992, but it was later overturned by the NCAA. Thus, they finished that final season at 1-1. One and, one. and Mark and Michelle, I talked to another 1992 player, Paul Lundgren of Denfeld. He said it was a special time, and he misses football every fall uh, over at UWS. Mm -hmm. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Yep, thank you. And we'll be right back.